In the past, the state has been held liable for injuries occurring on public recreational areas. The legislature is considering changes to those liability statutes. KITV Force Nana Okawa reports on what some users of those areas fear. This is one of the most popular trails for downhill and mountain bikers on Oahu. Outdoor enthusiasts are afraid that trails like this will be closed because of a bill that would limit the state's liability. If this protection doesn't go into place, it's possible that the DLNR may want to close down more areas to make it not accessible to the public because they'd be afraid of liability. Under the amended rules, the state would not be liable for natural hazards on public lands with due notice to users. The DLNR says the bill gives the state protection as long as signs like that that are analyzed and approved by a committee are posted, giving people enough warning. The state would be liable for accidents that happen from non-natural hazards. Non-natural hazards include uh, modifications to hiking or biking trails by the users, uh, bolts that might have been installed in cliffs by rock climbers, um, or paragliding launch sites. This was something that folks came in and did and modified the trail to make it fun for, for biking. Areas near Mokulea have been closed off since 2012 when a girl was injured while climbing. DLNR says even with the new rule changes, it will work to open popular sites. Our commitment to the rock climbers is that we will uh, work with you to find a way under Act 82 um, to allow for the resumption of climbing in Mokulaia. It's the start of the state working with the outdoor community to develop a program that will, you know, allow healthier living, that will allow folks to come to Hawaii and enjoy it to its fullest. Uh, that's why this bill is so disappointing to, to see it get shut down this way. Nana Okawa, KITV 4 News.